Hello everyone. Hi guys. Nice to meet you again. I want to say welcome to our Wednesday afternoon session. And today we are going to talk about the beginner's guide to MetaTrader, including the following topics, how to navigate the MetaTrader platform, how to find the instruments you want to trade, how to customize your charts and how to manage your trades. So I want to please you make sure that you stay until the, the end of this webinar or the end of a video if you watch it by YouTube later, when I'll be showing you how you can use MetaTrader for your advantage. Uh, my name is uh, Marcus Gabel. I'm a trader, I'm a coach, I'm a supporter, mentor, speaker, more than 22 years right now. I'm, uh, if you want to have more information about me, visit my German homepage at the moment, tradingpersonality.com. In this webinar series, uh, Trading Spotlight, I'm partnering with Admiral Markets, which is a Forex and CFD broker that offers trading on over 8,000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms, MetaTrader. Surprise, surprise. Finally, if you're watching this on YouTube, then remember to like this video, share it with other traders and subscribe so you will never miss an episode. Okay, now by my own words, welcome guys to this afternoon session. It's a great pleasure for me to have you here on this wonderful, very crazy Corona days. I hope you stay, uh, you're, you are doing good, you are healthy, your family as well. And maybe some of you uh, are forced to be at home, to stay at home but let's, let's do the best with this situation. I guess this is a great time to come down. This is a great time to focus, to come back to a focus, which is focused on ourselves, on the human part in this life, to care for your family, to care to care for kids and friends. And of course, I guess it's a really, really good time because the whole world is attacked by this virus. And uh, maybe it's, uh, little bit the seeds we planted in the past because you know the the biggest epidemic virus is called um uh, selfish and uh, now we we get the reward what we planted through the last decades of humanity now let's focus uh, on this uh, webinar today uh, i guess we have enough time because uh, most of the people are, must stay at home and now they have time to be focused on trading or something other things. Okay, we want to talk about MetaTrader and the first topic, how to navigate the MetaTrader. First of all, some uh, key facts, fun, uh, fun, some funny facts about MetaTrader. It's also MetaTrader 4 is also known as MT4 or maybe MT5, which is an electronic trading platform widely used by retail foreign exchange speculative traders. It was developed by the company MetaQuotes software, which, is, uh, which was released in 2000, uh, 2005. This software is licensed to foreign exchange brokers who provide the software to their clients. So MT4 and MT5 are the world's most popular trading platforms. It's priceless for you and it's really, it is comfortable if you customize to yourself. So, and let me say this one, I'm a German guy, my English is German, German as well, but I do a lot of effort that you understand me. And now uh, the chat is open guys. And my wonderful colleague from Admiral uh, say welcome to you. And I want to say the same. If you have any questions, please type it in the chat box. I will do the best to give you answer if you have any special questions. Okay. If you open once your, uh, once if you open your demo or maybe real account with your broker, so you will be able to choose between MT4 and MT5. So for example, if you type in your, in your browser uh, topic uh, hat, um, headline um, Admiral Markets, for example, then you come to the home page and there you can choose between MT4 and MT5. 
And uh, especially here at Admiral Markets, MetaTrader 5 allows you to trade CFDs as well as invest trad traditionally in stocks and ETFs, while MetaTrader 4 is purely for CFD trading and Forex. And the best thing at Admiral Markets, they offer you a special plugin for the platform called MetaTrader Supreme Edition. It's the, sh it's the shortcut MTSE, which includes several helping tools like the trading mini terminal. Okay, now it's time to switch from the slides to MetaTrader. And on MetaTrader, I want to show you the basic things. So, um, and I will do my best to explain it in a way you can understand it. But sometimes it could be that you have more clue than me about MetaTrader 5, uh, but I will do my best. So let's switch uh, to the Admiral Markets. And this is MetaTrader 5, especially the SE Supreme Edition. And once if you open the first time at the platform for MetaTrader 5, then you see maybe this one on the left side. So this is in the middle, it's the big chart platform that you can open your charts. Some you can more than open one at the same time. And on the middle button, you can make uh, the whole screen. You can fulfill the screen with one of these uh, charts. Then on the lower side, here on the bottom, you can switch between different, uh, be between different um, underlyings. In this case, it's Forex, for example. So this is what you can see, basically, if you open the first time, uh, first time your MetaTrader platform. That's really, really easy. On the lower side, you have a couple of, uh, of tabs which is uh, open trades, which is uh, exposure, account history, where are your uh, last things, or your last, yeah, you can show your historical trades. Then you can see, oh, not this one, just a moment. So come on, so news, then some alerts, then your emails, different markets, signals, cause you can uh, receive special signals from other traders around the world, for example, then some articles, uh, news, something else, then the code base uh, you get there and experts, uh, news, something else, and your journal, what happened in the last uh, couple of minutes about your own trades. On the left side, you can see symbols. This is a list of different symbols. I will show you a little bit later how you can open this one and something else. And on the lower side, you have left lower side, you have your navigator. You can open there some indicators and trends, oscillators, something else. And of course, some expert advisors, but uh, I will show you this a little bit later. Okay, this is basically what you have on your MetaTrader platform if you open this. And of course, if you have this Supreme Edition, you have on the left side under Expert Advisors, you have here different uh, special plugins like uh, the mini terminal, as I mentioned, then some correlation trading, matrix, alarm manager, and something else. More of that, give me a little bit of time to explain it a little bit later. Okay, this is, uh, first of all, this is the point uh, when you open your trading platform the first time. Okay, in MetaTrader, especially or basically, you can trade a lot of different instruments. You can trade, especially in MetaTrader 5, you can trade futures, you can trade CFDs, you can trade Forex, commodities, metals. And additionally, in MetaTrader 5, you can choose shares and ETFs. Now we switch again to MetaTrader and let's see how you can find them. This is not so, uh, so difficult. Um, on the left side, you can open this list, but under the point view here on the left upper side, you have the point symbols. 
if you open market watch then a complete list will open there but if you want to uh, have a look or if you're seeking for one symbol then go under view symbols and then this display will open and here you have different uh, Kamel, hello uh, on this symbol display you have a lot of under symbols like affix majors so under majors you will find euro usd british pound usd canada canadian dollar swiss franc and japanese yen then you have the so-called minors like euro usd a euro australian dollar and something else if you uh, are looking for sub for something else there you will find on a minus and of course the exotic pairs like euro czechish crown um, like euro Hungarian forints and Polish Slotty, Russian ruble, offshore renminbi, Czech Corona, Polish Slotty from US dollar, and something else. So you'll find that there. Then, if you have a look at uh, spot metals like gold or silver, then you will find them there. And you have your cash indices, there are the index indices uh, listed there. And other ones like NASDAQ, SP, there. So if you got the spot energy, there you will find, for example, Brent oil and WTI oil or other energies like natural gas. There you will find them there. And then come to the shares. Here you have CFD shares, all of them, a lot of shares here of US, the most important of Dow Jones, for example. Uh, then you have uh, share CFDs of um, Europe. Deutsche Post, for example, Deutsche Bank, Daimler. So you will find them exactly there. Okay. Then bond futures. There you will see 10 year Germany bond futures, or this is the shortcut FGBL in German words. Or you have the index futures, like US, uh, the US dollar index future. And of course, spot metals, palladium, and Last but not least, of course, currency, uh, cryptocurrencies and some diff different, uh, some special charts here. So if you want to open one of them or if you want to add them to your list here on the left side, please open this one, for example, like uh, share, then click on it, then it's uh, displayed on the left side and then click on show. So you can also make a double click on it, then it's also shown on the left side. So show, then close. And then if you scroll down in this list, you can see it here on this side. So now click the right button, click chart window, and then it's open here at a special new window. If you click this middle button of maximum, then you see the whole chart. So this is the point how you can find special symbols here in MetaTrader 5. It's the same between five and four, of course. Then you have your chart, and then you can whatever, do whatever you want. On the upper side, on the upper side, you can, um, how should I say, uh, let's see. Um, you can customize your chart and let's switch to the slides again. Every trader and you know how you, you want to see your charts, you have your own preferences, how to charts should be displayed. And some want to use candlestick charts, others prefer bar or line charts. And today I want to show you how you can, imp, uh, in, how you can display Haken Ashi, for example. So some traders want to use black backgrounds, others want to use white ones and so on, different colors, etc. So now let's see how you can customize your charts. Okay, so if you have opened this one, the first chart is always open white background. If you want to see a, back, uh, a black background, Jesus Christ, Click on the right button, on the right click in the chart, go on properties, and then this display opens. 
And here you can see color sheen and you can see yellow on black, for example, then go on OK and then the chart switch in a black background and yellow candles. If you don't like it, click on the right button, color sheen and then green on black, for example. Then OK and you have green and white candles. Here on the upper side, zoom in, the chart is going to be bigger and zoom out, the chart is going to be a little bit close and you see more history. You know my opinion, first of all, the first few must be at the whole history, then you can see where I am in the chart. Just a small hint in between. Okay, if you don't like it and if you see a bright uh, sheen, then you can go on black and white, then you can see. So maybe if you say, no, white is too bright for me, I'm gonna be blind of that, and black is too deep, for, too black for me. Okay, then you can see backgrounds, give a little bit and different uh, here on this one, maybe peach puff, kind of, uh, I don't know, never mind, whatever, then click another one, click okay, and then you have another background. So here you can change whatever you want, right click, properties, and then you can see this one. Also, you can bar up. So, for example, maybe green and bar down, for example, red, for example. So, click this one and you can see you have different colors here between red and this one. So, look at this one. Here are three buttons. Bar charts, candlesticks and line charts. So, for example, this is bar chart. Wonderful. Just a small body, not so big, but you can see the open and the close, and it's the color you want to choose in your, in your chart. The middle button shows you the real candle with a whole and a full body, and on the right side, you have only a list line chart. Maybe this reminds me a little bit on the early tray, on the early charts, the couple or couple, couple of decades earlier, they only had this line charts. Today we can use bar charts and of course we can use normal candlesticks. Okay, here to uh, furthermore for shift end of the chart, on the right bottom, so you have a little bit of space to the right side or you want to see more of that, then you can do it on the full, on the completely on the right side. So you, with these two buttons, you can have display on more space on the right side or not. Okay. Very, very important. If once you find your setup and your settings with the right color, whatever you do, then it's just a small suggestion from my side, save it. How you can save it? You have here this button on the right side, list called templates. Click on it, save template. Then this display opens and then you can give a name, template name, whatever you want. Then save it and everything is fine. And then it's been listed here on this templates here. Here you will find different things. So be this one, or maybe this is one of mine, for example, or um, whatever, volume. Once if you saved it, you will find it here on templates in this list. This is really interesting. Okay, now I want to show you how you can customize your charts, maybe with some, um, uh, let's see, let's open a new chart. Again, open chart window, again, so this one, for example, now it's white. And now, as I said, if you, so once if you saved your template and you open a new one, you can click here on templates and then choose which one you want to choose. Here, if you saved it, you will find it here in this list. Okay, but now let's see, we want to use Heiken Ashi. You know, I love Heiken Ashi. I trade with Heiken Ashi because it's really easy because you can you have only two candles like a balance candle and a trend continuation candle. If you use, if you use normal uh, Japanese candlesticks, then you, uh, you know you have thousands of patterns. 
from three dead soldiers to bearish bullish engulfing Harami and something else. So, for example, you want to have uh, an indicator on it. Okay, on the left side, I will help you with this. Click on view, upper side, view, then are your navigator. Okay, then this display on the left side is showed. And here you have a button like indicators, click on the plus symbol, and then you have your different indicators, oscillators, volumes, uh, which you want to download here maybe off the market. Here on market, you can download some priceless uh, tools or indicators, whatever you want there, you'll find a lot of things. And of course, you have your own things. I downloaded me some position size calculator, which is this. You can find it's priceless, Google it. It's really easy. So this position size calculator, it's really easy. Open this display, then a couple of seconds later, this position cal uh, size calculator is opened. You type in one time, you type in the, uh, the size of your account. And then you type in your stop loss, you type in your take profit, and then you can see how many things, how, many, uh, how big is your position size. And then you can make your trade. Quite helpful tool, I think. Position sales calculator is this one. It's priceless. You can find, you can use it for MetaTrader 5 and 4, of course. So maybe we want to use MLCD, for example. Then have a look, where is MLCD? MLCD, this here is MLCD, for example. So you can make a double click or you can copy and paste this one in the chart. Then this display opens. Then you can, your parameters, uh, just a small hint again for MLCD. It's a secret, big secret. I use Fibonacci numbers 13, 34, and 8. And then you can open this, and then you have your, uh, then you have your MLCD on the lower side. Especially if you click on the right button, indicators list. It's open again, this display, click on MLCD, double click, and you can change your colors, what you, you want to see, which colors, the levels, uh, also black uh, style, uh, the line, and some, something else. And if you want to show it on special charts or all time frames, for example. So at the end, you can close it and then you have MLCD. Next one, if you want to see, uh, for example, Heiken Ashi, it's priceless, included already in, um, I guess it is, let's see. That's the presentation effect. Let, ah, here we go, here we go. You will find it in, um yes it is on the lower side yes is oscillators so let's see okay it's um indicators yes not trend not oscillators not volume it is basically in um yes it's normal in the list you will find it on the lower side under Heiken Ashi. So now double click. And then here you can see your colors, uh, red and white, for example. But also you can say not red, you can say double click and you click uh, green, for example. And the second one as well, green. So now, and common, uh, inputs as well. Don't forget, this is really important here on the colors and inputs. You must choose the same one. This is a little bit of a trick. So otherwise it's not the same. Click on the green and now you are in common with all the other ones. And then, okay, so here we go. Here you have your, you have your Heikinashi and now you can switch here on the upper side. Look at this one. It looks like a little bit uh, difficult because 
you see it looks like a little strange, a little bit strange. If you click on bar chart, then it's normal. Now you can see it's a normal balance candle here, you see it. Okay, let's see a difference between a normal continuation candle and a balance candle. So here we go, I want to see my drawing object, here we go. So let's see, okay. So for example, in Eikinashi, this is a trend continuation candle. You see a big body and in a short trend continuation candle, you have a shadow on the lower side. In an uptrend, you have a big body and a shadow on the upper side. And a balance candle shows you if you have a small body and shadows on the upper and the lower side. The best balance candle is always pictures if the shadows are as double as big as the, as the body. That's the real point. The bigger the body, the more bad the balance candle. The best is like a doji, really, really small body and big shadows on the upper and the lower side. So this is one, for example, or oh, maybe, yes, this also, this one, oh, no, yes, this one also. So the color of a balance candle is not important. The balance candle shows you on Heikinashi, we get, a, we get a balance between buyers and sellers. And a balance candle mostly pictures you the end of a move or the end of a correction. So maybe if you want to, if you are a trend trader like me and you want to trade out of the correction, that's the easy thing if you have a balanced candle in a trend, in the correction, and then you can trade in direct uh, trend direction and the balance candle shows you when the correction will come to an end. So never forget guys, this is really important. Write it down right now, this is really important. If you want to save this chart, your own customized charts, and you want to open all the other ones in the same style, never forget template, save the template. Save it with a name you want to choose that you can find it later again. And then you will find it in the list of template here in this list. Okay, this is the way how you can a little bit uh, customize MetaTrader about your charts. So next one, if you want to draw something, you have here some drawing objects like a vertical line, horizontal line, or a draw trend line, for example. This one, click on it, and then you can draw your trend line. So once you choose one color, it's still always the same. If you click, you can make one drawing, and then you have to click again. This is a little bit uncomfortable, but it is, it is like it is, end of, the, end of discussion. If you want to change the color, for example, click the line that you can see some rectangles in the end, at the beginning and the middle, click the right button, and then you can see, uh, not here, now you can see here, trend line properties. And then you can open this display, then you can change the color, click OK, and then it changed. And then if you click again on this trend line, you see it's the same color again. If you want to have another color, click on this line again, right button, trend line properties, and then take another, uh, maybe another trend line, a trend color, and now you have the new one. If you want to delete them, click on the right button, object list, then click on it and say, delete, 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 and everything is deleted in the chart. In that way, you can customize your uh, MetaTrader. You can have, you can, you see, you have some uh, different drawing objects like draw ellipse or rectangle, and you have different time frames. for example, one minute, five minute, 
but the same you can look at view here you can change your language toolbars customize here if you open this one then you can see you can insert and remove what do you want to see in this hat topic on the upper side so in that way you can customize your own um, meta trader so let's go back to our slide how to open now a trade we are traders we want to make trades once if you feel comfortable with your platform and you can use it correctly it's time to open a trade we want to see how it works for example first of all guys that's my advice for you you should use demo account to get comfortable and to learn how to use the platform last week i told you it makes not no sense to trade with one hundred thousand of dollars on a trading account if you want to trade later in your real account with five hundred dollars it makes no sense use the demo time use a demo account to know the to know the platform how you can use it it is really stupid sorry that i be so frankly to you but it's really stupid if you want to make a long trade and at the end you make a short trade because you make a mistake because you miss or you have a lack of knowledge about the platform use the time to learn how to trade with this platform that you can avoid big mistakes so imagine you open a trade and you want to make a long trade you go to bed and the next day you have a big big loss and then you see oh damn i want to make a long trade i now open a short trade this point you have to avoid under all circumstances so you know you have to make 11 repeatings that your under consciousness knows oh something changed there okay this is the point uh, that you uh, why you should open a demo account to learn how to use this uh, platform and at the end of course you want to make trades so how we can make trades okay first of all you have to know the account size and if you want to make in demo to trade in demo account it should be the same account size you want to use later in your real account otherwise you cheat your own subconsciousness and you lie to yourself it makes no sense to do that just only a small uh, advice from myself for my side okay now you want to open a trade it's really important that you calculate your risk first of all everybody tells you you have to risk between one and three percent maybe this is not believe me and listen to me this is not the most important number the number is your penguin factor your moving factor at which amount of money you use to get nervous this is the real number it makes no sense if you say i want to use one percent of risk but it's depending of your account size if one percent is one hundred dollar but one hundred dollar is too big and maybe your trade is going to be a loss and you can see on the right side oh my god 10 euro minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 minus 50 minus then you are in big danger that you intervene in your trade and you make a big mistake because you will break your rules not the percent is the most important number always the amount behind that percent so make sure that behind that percent you want to use there is placed the right number of your amount maybe 10 euros it should be that amount number you never will get nervous 
when the trade is running against you. So figure out which kind of amount make sure that you will never intervene into a trade, that you can accept three, four, five, six, seven losses in a row, and that you are able to open the eighth signal as well. This amount is, or this number of your amounts, this is the most important number, not the percent. I hope you can follow me, but try it. Otherwise, you will fail in trading because if you have too much money included in your trades, you will always fail because you are always in danger to intervene and to break your rules and to break your trading, uh, your trade management. So by that way, I use this uh, priceless um, position size calculator. So I open this one, click on OK, for example, you will find it on the internet. And then for example, I say, look at this one, this is, um, I want to open, for example, at 695. So entry, I click here, type in 695. And you see the blue line is up there. There will be open the trend or the trade. Then if you want to trail your stop, click on the green line, for example, and trail it wherever you want, your stop loss should be. So, and then you can see on, if you type in here, maybe 1% or maybe 3%, then you can see, okay, you can buy based on my trading account size. If you use this tool, if you downloaded it, you have to type in your account size. The rest is doing by this uh, tool. And then you can see, okay, I can buy 20, uh, 52 shares, for example. My risk is um, the result, maybe uh, I risk 30 euros. If this is your profit factor, if this is your penguin factor, you're feeling comfortable, it's fine. If it's too much, then maybe 1%, and then you will use 10 euros, for example. So this is the way how you can calculate your risk. Once you did it, then you can open this button, new order, for example. I know guys, maybe you have more experience in MetaTrader like me or than me. I show you how, how I do it. And I used to make everything in a really, really damned easy way. Because you know, we are on the right side of the chart. The most important thing is the humanity, the factor human, the human factor on the right side. So I used to make it really simple and easy. You know, kiss, not kiss me. Keep it simple and stupid. So now you know, okay, I can buy 70 shares, 70. And then you can type in your stop loss, 625, for example. Your take profit, if you want to have a take profit, type it maybe 11, doesn't matter right now. Then you can type in 11, so this one. And now you have the opportunity, just a moment. Okay, this is a little bit later. And in that way, you can open your trade. So up to now, that's enough to hear. Let's switch to the slide. We have to choose between market execution and a pending order. If you want to open a trade, you can choose between these two things, to this, uh, this two uh, execution options. If you trade, if you decide to open a trade immediately, then you use, uh, you have to choose the market order. If you want to open your trade at a certain price, you can set a pending order. What is the real thing? To be honest, guys, it's not a secret. Every time, every time you use market, then you say, I want to be a part of it. I will never miss it. I don't want to miss it. I have to be inside of the market. 
Don't forget, it's a human thing. Don't forget. Uh, if I make coachings and if I teach my guys, um, then I always tell them, guys, use pending orders, not limit, because a limit order always says the same, I want. And I want, the market doesn't care. Believe me, the market is not interested in what you want. In my opinion, use stop sell or stop buy orders. So once you make this a new order and you typed in all your things you want to, to do, maybe stop order 627, uh, take profit 11, and then you have the, uh, the choice between market execution or pending order. Please use pending order. Now you can use the same a buy limit and buy and limit. Don't forget, limit pictures you, I want. I want, but the market doesn't care what you want. I never worked with limit orders. I use movement and trends, and I don't care about the one pip. I don't care about if I get 20 pips more or less. I don't care about it. I always use stop buy or stop sell orders, because if I want to go up, I want to use a stop buy order because I placed it a little bit above the current price because if the trend will continue, the price must passing by my orders. It cannot be otherwise. It must passing by my orders. Just my advice. You can do whatever you want in trading, but my advice is no limit orders, no, mar no market execution. Let the market decide how much money you will get. Please be humble and uh, patient. It's the best thing for your trading guys. Okay, that's this one. So stop loss, take profits, trading stops. All that tools you can trade automatically. Stop loss, you know, trade, you closes your trade at a set price to prevent a losing trade from losing more money. That's just uh, the sense of stop loss. Take profits, you take your money out of, away from the desk. And a trading stop, this is a stop loss that follows the price of an underlying asset when it moves in your favor, in your direction you want to trade. This allows you to follow the price for as long as it is profitable and for the trade to close when the market turns. In this point, if you use trailing stop, you let the market decide how much money you will get. The best thing. And I want, this is one of the reasons why I love to use Heiki Nashi. Because you see, you can follow the candles, 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 candles. And sometimes, no, that's a lie. More than one sometimes. Very often, you get more money than you thought when you start the trade. So, for example, uh, if you... Now I, for example, I show, this is my template. Surprisingly, it calls Marcus. <laughs> so, so maybe I have an open trade here right now. Maybe here in uh, this one. Oh no, this is closed. Damn, this is closed too. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. So this is a running trade. Damn, really close to my target. Oh my God. Thanks, market. Thanks. I'm really, really grateful for that. So now I can say, you see, trading. And of course, um, where are my trades right now? No, this one, sorry. On the left button, trade. So this is USD Canadian dollar. So right side and then trailing stop. Here you can decide none or you can say, follow my trades by 15 points, 20 points, or by custom. And then this display here opens this one, and then you can trail the point you want to do. The, uh, the stop loss should trail by off, by bar, by bar maybe, and uh, or a special key level, stop level, and then this will be automatically. It's a nice thing. Oh. Okay, 
that was the wrong point. I closed the position. Okay, shit happens. It was almost 900 pips. <laughs> okay, it's a demo account, no matter. So I was really close to my target right now. <laughs> so you see, if you don't have any experience about that, I never trail this kind of trailing stop. I wanted to show you how I closed my position. Whatever, it was a big profit. Nice to have. So now you can see, if you want to see the trade again, click on account history, and then you see I closed USD Canadian dollar, make copy or trail it or put it in the chart with the, with the pressed left mouse button. And then you can see, okay, I got into there. I closed the position here. Everything is fine. I don't care about that. Okay, that's the way how you can trail your stops, for example. Okay, how to close your trade? <laughs> it's funny, you saw it already. If your position reached your profit target or your maximum acceptable risk, uh, and you have not set the stop loss or take profit, you should manually close your trade. You can do this in many different ways. I showed you already in this point with a trading stop, which is too close to current price. Or if you have if you have a still running pr uh, trade, so like uh, this one, and I want to close it, so you can here click on this uh, on this cross sign here. There you can see it's open a small display. It shows you close. Click on it, and the trade. Thanks God, I don't do it right now. Then the trade is closed. That's a really easy way. Or you can click on the right button. And you can see, click on close order, or you can say modify or delete some orders, something else you can do it in that way. That's really easy. That's not a rocket science. Okay, and last but not least, final tips for you. MetaTrader is a very powerful tool. And especially if you use from Admiral Markets this Supreme Edition. And once you customize it and you can use the basics, you can use other helpful tools. And one of them I want to show you, and this is this amazing uh, uh, picture here of this button where you can see how many pips you are in profit or in loss. Especially you use MetaTrader 5, and you can see, or in 4 as well, you can see the Supreme Edition. And here on the left side, you see Admiral freehand, uh, freehand drawing, or you see chart in chart, chart groups, or the calendar, and here, it's the profit loss. Profit loss, for example. So let's open a new chart again. Chart, this is the last thing for today. And then you want to see it. Open this Admiral profit loss by put it in the chart. And then you can see some inputs, dependencies, colors, and something else. And then click OK. And then you have here this. Uh, maybe you want to see how many, uh, you want to see how many euros or uh, how many um, indicators, uh, indicator list, then Admiral Profit Loss, double click on in. If you don't want to see the money, then you can see uh, what do you want to show, cash or maybe uh, pips. Or maybe you want to see both of them, cash and pips, click it here and then you see cash and pip. I think this is a really helpful tool, so I love it because uh, I can see how far I am in the profit or maybe in the loss. And this is, thing, this is an interesting thing. And oh, you can use mini chart, whatever you want, freehand drawing, for example. It's really funny how you can use that in that uh, way. And uh, yes, okay. That, guys, was just a little bit uh, profit from my side, uh, respectively, some information in a really easy way to handle MetaTrader uh, 5 and 4. I want to invite you to um, our Trading Spotlight community. There you can find Paul, Jens, and me. If you have any questions, come in our Trading Spotlight community on the Traders Yard in the uh, homepage, tradersyard.com. It's completely priceless. The only requirement you need to open a real account, deposit some money on it, and then you have uh, the allowance um, to come into this Traders group. 
that you can share your ideas, that you can follow Pauli and Sabi with our trades. Make sure, guys, that you stay here on Friday, same time, same place, with Jens Klatz, when he will talk about market neutral trading strategies, including what is a pair trading, or the benefits of it, and when should you consider pair trading. Friday, same time, same place. Thanks for your time, guys. Well, a great pleasure for me in this crazy times that you spent your valuable and absolutely worthful lifetime with me. More information at Admiral Markets are or in email, YouTube, Facebook. You will find this video again latest on Friday at the weekend in the YouTube channel from Admiral Markets. Thanks, guys, a lot. It was a really easy way to use MetaTrader. Thanks for your lifetime. Let me say this last again, guys. Have a nice time. Be careful. We live in crazy times. Stay close to yourself. Stay close to your family. Take care about your family. And let's come together. We will be stronger and stronger if you work together. Be careful about your thoughts at the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.